Hello, today we're looking at pressure in gases for key stage 3 chemistry. Now, to help us understand this, let's start with the idea of a balloon, a nice simple example. And the balloon is blown up and it has gas in there. And if we were able to magnify and look very closely inside the balloon, uh, we might be able to see how the particles in there are behaving. So we can magnify that area there very, very much. Remember, you can't actually do this in real life with a magnifying glass. It's way too small. The particles are way too small. However, if we were able to do it, this is what we might see. Here are the particles of the gas or even gases that are inside the balloon. Now, one thing to remember about those gases is the particles are either atoms or molecules that we've talked about before, but we'll call them particles. They are very far apart from each other. They move in random directions and at different speeds compared to each other. And they also collide with the sides of the balloon. By collide, we mean they bash into the sides of the balloon. So let's take a look and see how that happens. So let's remove our label there and there go the particles moving around inside the balloon as we've described. Random directions far apart from each other and colliding with the inside surface of the balloon. So what we can say is that the particles collide with the sides of the balloon. They collide with a force and that's what causes the pressure. So we have gas pressure inside the balloon caused by the collision of the particles with the sides of the balloon. That causes a force and that causes pressure. Let's look at a slightly different example. Here we've got a container with gas inside and you can see the particles inside of the gas. And again, we can see the particles as they move around in random directions colliding with the inside walls of this container. So in the same way as previously, we have them colliding, the particles colliding with the sides with a force which causes a pressure on the inside of that container. We can actually see what happens if we decrease the volume that the particles are in. So there we go, we've squashed that plunger down and we've decreased the volume. And now if you look at how the particles move, they move in the same way. However, there are many more collisions with the sides of the container. And because there's more, uh, more collisions with the sides of the container, more collisions with the sides of the container, there's going to be a higher pressure, or we could say there's more pressure. So decreasing the volume increases the pressure inside a container that has gas. If we were now to increase the volume, increase the volumes that the particles are in, again, the particles move around randomly, far apart in random directions, but they collide less with the sides of the container, so there is a lower pressure. There is less pressure inside that container. So we can see how changing the volume that a gas is in will change the pressure that is inside that container. We can summarize our ideas about pressure in gases and we can explain it like this. So we have firstly the idea that particles collide, particles collide with the sides of the container on the inside. The particles exert a force as they collide or when they collide and this force causes pressure. So this is why we get pressure inside a container when we have gases in there. Examples include a balloon that we looked at, but there are other things as well. For example, car or bike tires. And I'm sure you could think of more examples where there's a gas inside a container. And then the other idea we looked at was that if we change the volume inside the container, that it, that changes the pressure. So we can have a little uh, explanation of that. I've said an increase in volume and by increase, if we compare it to another diagram there, and what happens is we get an increase in volume, an increase in volume, that means the pressure reduces. And that's because there are less frequent collisions between the particles and the walls of the container, less frequent collisions. And as we said before, because there's less frequent collisions, the particles collide less often, that means there is less force of the particles on the walls or the insides of the container. And the idea of less force leads to the idea of a lower pressure. So this is what happens when we increase the volume of a gas. If we decrease the volume, this means that, if we decrease the volume, this means that we have the pressure which increases, the pressure increases. 
And why is this? And this is because there is, or there are, more frequent collisions with the walls of the container. And if there's more frequent collisions, we're going to get more force. And again, the idea of more force leads to a higher pressure. We will add here that we must have the same container. We must be talking about the same container for this explanation to be completely correct. And also, for reasons we're not looking at today, but we must also have these at the same temperature as well. The gases in the containers must be at the same temperature. So that's a summary of the ideas of pressure in gases. Do go over the video one or two more times if you need to, but these are the key terms and the way we would explain the idea of pressure in gases. So that's it. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.